I've taken it upon myself to explore the plight of a marginalized community, both for the sake of our country's growth, as well as for our own personal growth. In studying their journey, those of us with privilege might better understand the many ways in which we have an upper hand. Literally. We cannot think of being acceptable to others until we have first proven acceptable to ourselves. 10% of the world are people just like me. Now that's a supposed minority, but 750 million people, that sounds pretty huge. You see, we were born in a system that we were never really meant to thrive in. And words like privilege are thrown around and it starts to lose its impact. But we ourselves are privileged. Not, not me, myself, but you. It is not because you're white, it is your right-handedness that gives you privilege. A special right, advantage, or immunity granted only to a particular person or group of people. I mean, you guys have scissors, pencils, uh, notebooks, binders, uh, baseball gloves, cell phones, cars, melon ballers. Bop it. Spin it. Sidewalks. I mean, the list goes on and on. We traveled to France to speak with Jacqueline Michant, a world-renowned doctor who's committed her life to studying behaviors in left-handed people. Jacqueline Michant. Ça, c'est mon arrière-grand-père, et mon arrière-grand-père est sa maîtresse. Elle s'est fâchée contre lui, elle lui a tiré dessus, elle lui a explosé le main. <laughs> Dans ma recherche, j'avais trouvé que les membres de la société qui sont gauchers ont des sentiments d'infériorité. Voilà, ils ont l'impression de ne pas être chez eux dans ce monde. Alors, leurs actions peuvent devenir de pire en pire et peuvent agrandir sans arrêt. Leur dépression, leur rage et tout ce qui va avec ça, c'est une tête de sont aux enfers. Oh mon Dieu, t'es nul Va, dans le coin, là-bas Dépêche-toi pas de ce problème. On ne parle pas de ce problème parce qu'ils ont peur. Dans les garniers sans me voir. Oh mon Dieu! Le français est tellement terrible, je ne peux pas le faire. Casse-toi. Non! Non! Non. We sat down with Mark, a customer service rep at a cable company. Mark is left-handed and says he's teased in the workplace. I realized that they were staring at me because of my exceptionality. <laughs> I complained to HR, but they didn't really do anything about it, so I took matters into my own hand. Hand, hands, hand, hands, hands, hand, hands, hands, hand, hands, hand, hands, hand. He tried to cope, but one day it all became too much. The following clip is a dramatization of what took place. <laughs> We were literally just making fun of him because he ate a belly booger. I came across three activists who firmly believe in left-handed people's struggles. They are strongly dedicated to raising awareness and seeking relief. This movement is about helping people with no hands, and that's a noble cause. Just to clarify, are you saying that left-handed people don't have hands? Yes. But they do. But we don't treat them like they do. And at its core, we're just trying to give people their hands back, right? The left-handed community just won't give up. Their path is certainly promising. Kai, I'm sorry, I can't do this. These people are insane. Just saying we lost the footage, I don't know. This is this shit. I just, I'm so sorry. 